Hey, good morning. What's up, foodie gang? I am back with another video. It's really peaches here. Today, I'm going to um, show you how I make um, blueberry French toast. Already made Eggo waffle blueberry French toast. So let me get my um, waffle. So what you're going to do is use regular waffles, Eggo waffles, whatever brand you choose to use. I got Eggo. And we're going to put it in a toaster. We're going to sit it there for a moment because I'm not exactly ready for it yet. I want to beat up my egg that I'm going to use. I'm probably going to use just two eggs. This is for um, the sauce that I'm going to make because I have some fresh blueberries and I have some brown sugar. And I'm going to add a little bit of uh, cinnamon in that to um, add a little you know, cinnamon flavor to it. Um, so let's beat this egg up, these two eggs up actually. I did it with a spoon, y'all, I know. Now, let's get this fork, beat these two eggs up. Just so you know, my um, if I didn't say this yet, my Eggo um waffles are blueberry, so we're gonna just be blueberry it up with these um blueberries um waffles. I got my butter, this is vegan butter, it's one of my only and favorite butters to use. Um, let's get this pan going. No, I don't have nothing set up because I'm not trying to be perfect. No one is. So we're just going to do it like we do. Roll with it as we go. Because this is my, just, I mean, somebody will connect to doing it this way. That's what I feel. Let's turn that heat up a little bit more. Get that butter going in here. Like I said, this is for the French toast. Um, I think I'm gonna do a little bit more. Ooh. I always feel like I'm gonna overdo it with any type of butter, but you know what? I'm not trying to be on the measurement tip this morning. Um, like I said, we have some Eggo waffles. I did two in the toaster. This toaster um, is definitely gonna you know give you that extra um convenience of not having to make um uh waffles in a waffle iron so it's gonna save you some time pretty much So what I do want to say is I'm not going to have a syrup. Um, I could, I could use, you know, like, which I really don't too much use a regular syrup. Every now and again, I do use a syrup. Um, you can use like, you know, agave, which is one of my favorites. But what we're going to do is make um, a syrup out of these blueberries. And this is going to be the topping, basically. Although we got blueberries and the waffles. I want more blueberries. I love blueberries. Okay. Um, so the brown sugar and the butter is going to make the sauce. Um, instead of using, like I said, 
syrup and agave or the other agave if that's what you like. I think some people use like monk food as well. Now, if you want to get you a big bottle of Miss Butterworth and pour it all over it, go right ahead. But this is really like what I call um, the new way of making a French toast waffle. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my toast once I plugged up. So let's plug this toaster up. Take that off just for a minute because I don't want it to get too, you know, heated up. I don't need one. Do I need another egg? I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I don't think I do. I think that's enough to dip it in. If not, I do have one more egg that I can add to it. If it runs low, um, let me get this. You know, this is probably chunky because I don't definitely use brown sugar really I mean I'm gonna probably have to beat this up a little bit I don't really like I said I don't really use brown sugar like that but for this um syrup is just one of the choices that I know is made with The butter. And why is this so hard? My God, you can tell I don't use this. And this lasts for years. Shoot, it's some. It's it's a whole nother year for this. From the time I bought it, so that's good. It's just hard. Now, if I would have known this. I would have been did this. So y'all see me just do this as I go. That's all. I don't know now because I don't want to use regular sugar. y'all just know you know this video will be a lot longer than what i had plans that's not the best thing to use probably and i don't want to use a hammer <laughs> so if i use a hammer that'll be a lot of noise going on so okay what can i use okay let's see hmm So much noise. I've never had to use the brown sugar, so I don't know. <laughs> and it's my budget at all. Since 1901, I don't know what y'all got in here. But this sugar should not be this hard just because I don't use it that often. Jeez. I feel like I should put it between something and then hammer it. Hmm. All right, y'all, give me a minute. I'll be right back. All right, foodie gang, I am back to finish where I left off. Um, I got my um, butter going here. Um, my waffles, I'm going to put it in the egg to coat it, lather it up 
you know, like you would do French toast. Uh oh. And by the way, with that sugar that I was breaking up, I did a shorts video showing you how I broke up my um, brown sugar. So we're not going to um, make the, um, you know, um, mix that I explained early in the video. Um, in this video, I'm going to do another video. I'm going to do a mukbang, okay? So, and then... Again, I may just um, do a video showing you how I made it with the brown sugar. So we'll do it that way. It's my first time making this French toast. I want to see if I should turn it up a little bit more. I don't like burning butter. I don't like all that brown looking stuff. So I could turn up a notch. Oh, it smells so good. That cinnamon. Yeah, you definitely want to do that cinnamon. Mmm. Then I got these blueberries in here. Already in my, my waffles. All right, guys, I'm going to show you in like uh, two minutes and show you how it looks. It's not going to be as pretty as you probably um, would want it to look, but I like it. I like the way it looks. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the way this looks. I feel like on one of them, I could have did more egg. I probably should have dipped it um, one more time. But I like the way it looks and how it tastes. It's going to change the game. All right, y'all. So that was really that for that. Take this off because I don't want to burn it. Because I can actually use this butter um, for the video that I'm going to do with the blueberries and the brown sugar um, mix. Yes. But I want to need add, to add more butter. So again, you'll see that in the other video where I have made the sauce syrup. It's not a syrup, but it's it's just a blue, it's just going to be blueberry flavored sauce in place of syrup. So take a good look at this. Oops, almost slid. Mm. So thank you guys for watching this video here. Um, comment like and subscribe i hope to see you back here in another video don't forget to leave um any ideas that you may have for mukbangs um or how to videos or how i made something or whatever um and i'll reply back so thank you hope to see you in the next day or so because i will be doing videos um two to three times a week so far that's definitely the the schedule that i'm trying to stick to two to three times a week so weekly i'll see you guys back here thank you guys and i hope you're having a wonderful day and eat something good go out somewhere and have a good time so foodie gang i'll see y'all back soon